Hello everybody. I hope you had a beautiful Christmas <clears throat> around here. I thought I would show you while I'm putting all my stuff away some of my favorite presents. Now I'm not going to show you everything. I know it looks like a lot already. Um, but just hang in there with me. I do have a lot more presents upstairs that's already put away. But I try to grab my favorite things and show you. So I'm going to start over here and kind of work my way around. Trina, Scott's sister, made me these coasters. Now, she decoupaged them, and that was me and my mom. Here's me, Zane, and Scott, all the little kids. Here's the big kids and the grandbabies. Um, Jackson and Cooper, that was Milo from a different litter. Brittany and Jackson and Cooper. Um, this is Scott's mom who's passed away, um, Catherine. This is Scott's niece that's passed away, and that is Heather, and obviously my husband. Gabby and Willow. Me and Brittany, Scott and, J and Jackson, and me and Scott. This is an amazing Christmas present. There's Catherine up here. This is an amazing Christmas present, and I absolutely love it. Now, I'm not sure if I'm going to leave it in the tray and just sit it like on the coffee table or if I'm going to stack them up. I'm really not sure, um, but I absolutely love these. This is a perfect present. Um, and she put her love and, and time and effort into making me this. Um, it has all the people that I love in it. Um, she did try to get a picture for my mom of me and my brother, and I kind of just screwed around and didn't send it. So he's not included, but he is remembered. And um, I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, now on to the table. My sister, um, who's a college student, bought these frames and put pictures into them, and I love it. I absolutely love it. There's Scott and I, Jackson and me, me and Scott again, me and Brittany, me and both kids, my mom, me and Lacey, and then me and Scott at the top. These are, this is a great present. I absolutely adored it. I love it. Um, and I might make some for people next year because I love it that much. And the frames are pretty cute. There's one that's, you know, kind of um, designed there. And there's plain ones. They're all designed different. But it's all one piece. So, thank you, Lacey. I love that. Um, everybody knows how much I love my baths. Um, I have a giant bathtub. And even if I had a small, regular bathtub, it would be no different. I absolutely love baths. And so... My mom, I think, knows how much I love Lush, but she got me some bath bombs. These are huge, too. Look at that big bath bomb. They smell amazing. This one, um, I don't know what this one is, but it smells really, really good. And there's a whole bunch of bath bombs. Here's more. Here's another one, another really big one. I will probably try to break these in half or cut them in half and use half per bath because those are really big. I got this bath confetti, and I'm not sure what it does, but I like it. And so I got two of those. My sister actually got one for my mom, but she is in a dorm and doesn't have a bathtub, so she just gave it to me. Um, some more bath stuff. This is pomegranate berry bubble bath. Love that. She also got me these um, anti-stress bath salts, and they have chamomile and lavender. Smells really, really good. She got me some exfoliating soap. Um, this one's aloe vera and kiwi. In the middle is oatmeal honey. And um, on the end is peaches and, peaches and passion. So I'll probably do a review on a lot of this stuff. She doesn't mind. If I say I don't care for it so much, she, she won't care. Um, but I'm going to probably review these because I bet I'm going to like them. Um, I love exfoliating soaps. And these have some great um, ingredients. They're all natural too. Um, she also got me some of these Benefit blushes, which I absolutely love the Benefit blushes. This one's a sugar bomb. Let me see if I can open it one-handed. There we go. Just flips up, but it's kind of hard to open. It's got a, br a mirror in the box, a brush. Turn around. And there it is. There it is. Oops. Sorry about the lighting. There it is. Definitely do a review on that, which I can almost tell you for sure I'm going to love it, but we'll see. I hate saying that before I do a review, but I love all of the Benefit blushes. Um, this one is Throb. It's a pretty peachy 
I can get that little paper out. And I just messed it up with my fingernail. I don't like that. But that's the color. It's very good for pale skin. Um, I'm sure the lighting's messed up. I'm trying to... It's that peachy color. So excited to try that. Brandon got me some more bath stuff with a lupa over here. And these are Hawaiian Orchid. I'll try those out. Um, then there is the pedicure tool set. I think my mom got me that. My mom, every year, buys me earmuffs, so um, <laughs> she, I got earmuffs again, and I told her I'm moving to Florida, and I don't need earmuffs, but she reminded me that it does get quite cool in Florida, and she also got me these adorable gloves with the buttons. My, these are like a deep lavender color. They're really nice, and my sister wanted them so badly. It's, it's funny. We almost traded for them. Speaking of my sister, she made Scott this little whiskey tree, and it's got all kinds of little whiskeys on it, and he loved it. Another perfect gift from my sister. I love it when people make stuff. I absolutely love it. Um, oh, and speaking of moving to Florida, I should say, I think that's going to happen really soon within the next month to two months. We are ready to get out of North Carolina, and we are moving south, so I'm super excited about that. Uh, my, my mom it got me a massive amount of little pink tools. Um, I'm sure I will use them. They'll go in the actually the junk drawer with all the other tools, and I'm sure everyone in our house will end up using those. This package is actually a package from a friend in London, and I'm late sending hers to her, so I got to get moving and find her something to send to her. She got me these great books. This is Test Your Cat, the Cat IQ Test. Gabby's a genius. We already know that. The, the Cat Who Came for Christmas book. Love that. She, I also got this pretty journal. And the Cat in the Hat Dr. Seuss book. Ain't that precious? Um, thank you so, so much. And I will definitely be sending yours off. There's a funny story to yours because it was like $43 to send it to you. And it was a $15 gift. So, yeah not too happy with that but i think hopefully we can figure something else out where i can get it there a little bit cheaper and my mom found me this teapot at an antique store and she said she debated a whole bunch if i would want it or not i can't believe mom you wouldn't think that i would want not want this teapot i love it love it love it love it and this is a very good example of finding something that is pre-used um, older type of gift because this this is a beautiful teapot. I will keep it till the day I die, or, or and then it will go to my daughter or my son. I absolutely love it. I collect teapots; they're all over, um, everywhere. There's teapots everywhere in my house, and this is perfect. And this was a beautiful gift. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Then my mom got me this decorative wireless thermometer hummingbird little thing and I think it'd be perfect for a Florida house maybe under a carport or something I'm not expecting to have a garage but you never know what kind of house we'll have I'm looking for a three bedroom with a pool so if you know of anybody in Florida who has one we want to rent it for a while so um, leave me a message I also got this photo keychain and um, I love it and I think that was for my mom too I love it my mom also loves to get like food gifts and stuff. This is Sangria Wine Freezer. You add the wine and water, shake, freeze, and squeeze. I can't wait to try this and do a review. I got a lot of kitchen stuff. I got to kind of be fast. I don't want this video to be too long. My mom got me these silicone fabric um, oven mitts. There's two of them. I think these are wonderful. I'm always burning those cloth ones. My mom got me this super ball by by Chera, Bio Chera. Kara, I don't know how you say that, um, and it it lasts for a thousand loads of laundry. There's two in this. What it is, I'll do a review, but quickly what it is, it's washing your clothes without laundry soap. It says how it works, Super Wash Bob by BioCara washes your laundry without any chemical detergent by using state-of-the-art all-natural biometrics. Through oxidation reduction, the biometrics area are able to change the alkaline of the water into basic water. Um, so these are really exciting to try. I can't wait to try them. Some of the other kitchen stuff I got was pretty interesting too. My mom got me this five piece measuring 
and prep set, which is really nice. It's from the Food Network. And I'm trying to undo it so I can show you. I should have had the tripod out. I just didn't really feel like being in front of the camera today. I look pretty bad. My phone is ringing. Okay, like this is a fourth of a cup. And it's a little bowl. So it would be perfect maybe for flour or whatever. I think it goes to that line. I'll have to read down the package a little more. This is a half cup. I love these. Absolutely love them. They're like a rubber material. Um, another food network item mom got me is this mini pie mold. And you can do so much with these. So I'm very excited to try that out. Um, <clears throat> she got me some really cute corks. I have more. This is an oil one. Um, she's got me some other corks too. But this has a story to it. I gotta tell it fast because this video is gonna be super long. This is a little measuring cup. It's got teaspoons and tablespoons. I absolutely loved it. My sister got hers. There's still a little bit of a price tag on it. My sister got hers. I didn't have one and she wanted to trade me those purple gloves down there for this and I would have made the trade but my mom was like I'll get you another one do not take give the gloves away so I didn't and I found this when we took down the tree it was still wrapped and back in a corner so happy to have this thank you mom I got a lot of stationary magnets these are some magnets my mom got me I love them I don't do math I, I have done the math we can't afford the dog that is freaking awesome she got me this cat luggage tag absolutely love that this really cute post-it machine um a whole bunch of journals and notebooks what my cat is thinking book um and now back to the kitchen i got a gourmet knife set um i don't know how good these would be but i will test them out and i'll do a review on them and hopefully they're good she also got me these dome dishwasher or dish uh what's what are they hold on press and dome i've seen like on tv type of thing but they it does include a plate and you just put the dome my mom said she tested out a banana we might have to do the same test she got me a new mandolin which i really needed so i'm pretty happy about that and this is the holder for it that fits on your refrigerator my sister made these adorable cat paintings now this is a corner um painting let me see if i can line them up and give you the effect there we go there we go. Isn't that cute? It goes on a corner. I love these. Another homemade gift that I absolutely adore. Um, she also got me this red teapot and absolutely needed that. Super happy. The red matches our stuff in the kitchen. Now, my mom's friend Dawn got me this cookbook. Every year I get a cookbook and this year it was the official High Times Cannabis Cookbook. More than 50 irresistible recipes that will get you high. Now, I'm not going to really get into the marijuana talk, except I think it should be legalized. I'll leave it at that. Um, I don't know if I'll ever make one recipe out of this book. I might. You never know. Um, but it's going to definitely go up with all my other cookbooks. And I'm super happy to have it. I love it. My mom got this wine cork thing for me. She actually bent her somehow. She has one too. And puts a bottle of wine in it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for. But we'll figure that out. And I'll be sure to let you know. Jackson got me this Gordon Ramsay um, mix hand mixer because my hand mixer was old and I really needed another one. Um, this is a kick-ass mixer. We used it during Christmas. I'll do a full review on that also. Um, let's see. Oh, and my mom got me these little booties um, that she wears all the time. And since my feet are cold, I very well might wear them around the house. Um sorry if you just got a shot of the cat box my mom also got me this trunk you guys have seen it on the blog already it's adorable um there's more presents in it i'm not going to go through them all but there are more upstairs too and my husband got me a camera for christmas which i'm recording on right now it's actually really nice and we've enjoyed using it but for my mom my main present was was this very beautiful kitten gypsy is she not so pretty she is now five months old we got her early because we wanted to make sure say hello world she's sleepy say hello we wanted to make sure she um got here by christmas so we got her early and say hello youtube friends hello and um we love her we have a very big cat house we have four persians they are absolutely beautiful we are we breed persians and it's a small cattery not very big but perfect for us and we love them very very much so
hope you guys had a beautiful Christmas. Um, we are seriously considering doing a Christmas next year where everything is either homemade or you buy one regular present for someone and make something also. So we're, we're trying to figure it out. Um, we will be spending next year in Texas. My mom has pretty much informed us this was supposed to be her Texas year. Don doesn't spend Texas with his girls unless we come there and it's not really fair. So we had Jackson this year and didn't really feel like we could travel. Um, but next year we will definitely be traveling to Texas for Christmas. So, and that, well, hopefully, I mean, something could happen and Scott would have to work and maybe we couldn't do that, but we're planning on being in Texas and really it's not about any of this. It's really about spending time with your family and friends. We had an hour of opening presents and we all had lots of stuff and got everything we could ever need or want. But that really wasn't the highlight of our Christmas. Our Christmas was meant to be with our family, to laugh, to relax, to eat good food, to, to share thoughts and memories. It was all about that. It was nothing really to do with this. I mean, this was fun. And my mom has so much fun buying stuff for me and Lacey and everyone else. Um, but it was more about spending time with the people you love and making those memories that will last forever. So, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to get all this stuff put up. I can't wait to review some of it. Um, and don't worry, I will not just do a review and say it's great because I got it as a gift. That is not how I do it. If I'm not crazy about it, I'm not scared to say it. I don't just, like, call the person up and, and be mean about it or anything. But I might, you know, like something about it, but not another thing. It it It's very honest. And, and no one ever seems to, to mind. So, anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'm going to let little Gypsy go back to sleep on my pretty trunk. And I think this is going to move all of my makeup when we move to um, Florida. And I think it would be perfect just to put all my makeup right in there. And I bet I can make it fit. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. i got to get this stuff put up and get something made for dinner. Bye-bye. And I couldn't end this video without realizing that I forgot something. My mom also got me this really, really nice purse. It's a JPK Paris 75 purse. I'll do a review or a purse video later. But it's got amazing pockets inside. Um, this is really sturdy and nice. Um, I absolutely love this purse. And I'm carrying it right now. And that's why I didn't have it in the video. So, thank you, Mom. I absolutely love this, too. Bye-bye, you guys.